Good evening, everybody. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here as a candidate for mayor. I'm, I think I'm the last one speaking, which is probably appropriate since I'm the last one, one of the last ones that entered the race. Uh, Michael, your president, uh, reminded me uh, that I was actually the first candidate to be to be endorsed by this organization. When I ran then, I was an outsider. No one gave me a chance. Right. And now, nine years later, I'm on my third term as your public defender. Now, what do you want in a mayoral candidate if you live in the, this community? You want somebody, first of all, who understands the community. I lived here for five years in the TL. I went to law school here at Hastings, and I was part of this vibrant community. I learned the respect that we have here for all people, rich, poor, middle class, no matter what country you're from, no matter what language you speak. I became a public defender because I wanted to serve the community. We serve over 25,000 people a year providing legal services. Not at City Hall, the other hall, the Hall of Justice, mm -hmm. the one that's not so pretty. But the one thing that I learned as public defender is that if you give people a chance to turn their lives around, many will take it. And that's why I champion programs like the Clean Slate Program that has helped over 10,000 people clear their records and turn their lives around. Now you have to be able to show that you've improved your life, that you've engaged in community service, that you're involved in your community, involved in your church. 10,000 people over 10 years. That's what change looks like. I've also stepped out of my role a public defender, and I've been not, haven't been afraid to take on some of the most difficult issues in this city. There's going to be a lot of candidates who are going to be talking to you about ideas, but I've actually done it. Two years in a row, I put a measure on the ballot to reform our city's pension program. Why? Because our city is on the brink of financial disaster unless we fix this. Not wrong. We are spending hundreds of millions of dollars on a problem that can't be fixed. When you're talking about what's happening in Washington, D.C., when you're looking at what's happening in Sacramento, we don't want that to happen here. Candidates are going to talk about affordable housing. They're going to talk about mental health service, age services, all the things that make our city the great city that it is with the social network of services. Those things are evaporating. That's why I took on this issue, because as a person who serves poor people every day, I saw what was happening to our communities. I saw that was what was happening to services, and I wanted to do something about it. This measure will be the greatest fiscal austerity measure ever passed in the city. We'll save over $4 billion over the next 25 years. That's what change looks like. You want somebody at City Hall who walks the walk? It's not just about talking the talk and making sure that at the end of the day, he or she delivers. That will be me. I will be the candidate that you can walk into my office and you can tell me about any problem that you witness. That's the kind of public defender's office I run. I answer for a complaint form. I make sure at the end of the day that City Hall and the people that I work with are accountable for the outcomes. That's what you want at the end of the day. Look at my record. Look at the way that I've run the public defender's office. We have a budget that's less than half of what the police spend in overtime. And that tells you something right there about what needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. And so pension reform is one issue, but there are many, many more. We need to find ways that we're going to bring new revenue into the city. When we talk about jobs, we're talking about the America's Cup. Where are the jobs for people in this community? If we're really talking about change, then we have to be able to elect leaders who won't only talk about it, but will deliver that change. And that's who I am. That's what you get when you get Jeff Adachi. So I'm asking for your vote for mayor. I'm telling you that I will be a, a, a mayor who is compassionate, who understands and believes in people, and understands fundamentally that we are a city of second chances. We are a city that recognizes the very best in people. And I want to be the mayor that brings out the very best in our communities and in our city.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.